Um, sorry, I did a bunch of random questions. That's okay. um, what is a film that inspired you and changed the way you make your own films? Hmm. Um, well, the films that got me here today were the films that my company made before I was there. So I know that's kind of a cop out to like cite my, our own films, <laughs> but I wasn't working there when okay, they made them. Yeah. Um, and they were just so visually beautiful. And I think that that really inspired me. Um, and Chasing Ice is another one that um, is not within my film company. Um, it's just incredible footage of glaciers and uh, icebergs melting. And it's, it's really powerful. Um, so yeah, I think that, that was definitely an influential film as well. Okay, a few more. Um, in your opinion, do you think that starting a project is harder or making sure it reaches its full potential? Like carrying it on. Starting it or carrying it on? Yeah. Oh, definitely carrying it on. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, I think it's so easy to dream about projects and, and maybe start them, but finishing them and making sure you do a good job all the way through mm -hmm. is a lot more difficult. Um, yeah. And this project is has been going on for a year and a half and it'll be going on for another six months to a year, which is one of the shortest timelines for a feature length yeah, film. Um, so feature length films are, are a big challenge, um, but there are tons of projects that take a lot of effort, but you know, if they'll never happen if you don't go for it and just stick with it and you know, bad things will happen. I think that's the other thing, like expect bad things to happen yeah. because they will, they'll happen not how you thought. This film is entirely different than the one I set out to make. It's mm -hmm. not even close to the one I set out to make. Right. But, um, you know, we stuck with it and things changed and moved and we kind of just had to roll with the punches and do the best that we could with what we had. Awesome. Um, Wait, follow up question. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Here's a follow up question. Oh. But no, you, okay. so what, what, what did you envision? Oh. Uh, yeah, like what were you envisioning when you first uh, yeah. thought about making this film? So my pitch when I found the film company <laughs> was um, a film about the millennial generation, my generation, and showing um, people who, like maybe five characters, who are feeling the effects of climate change the most around the world, but who are also coming up with solutions right. um, and kind of going into a character character driven like you know maybe five characters or so mm -hmm. in the film and um, really going deeper into like we're the ones feeling it but we're also going to be the ones coming up with the solutions yeah definitely yeah um what's the next f what's next for the film and if there is one what is the next project for pf pictures <laughs> what's next for the film is figuring out distribution mm -hmm. um which is always a headache and we have a great uh sales sales agent team that's helping us talk to different distributors, you know, Netflix, HBO, a whole host of them. They're way more than I ever knew of. Yeah. Um, so they're talking to all of them. They're all seeing the film, coming up with different bids if they want the film, um, with different rights, and there are a lot of different rights to different pieces of the pie. There's educational rights, there are theatrical rights, there's subscription on demand, there are just a number of different rights. Mm -hmm. So our sales agents are coordinating coordinating all of those. Um, we're still going to festivals, so we're at Telluride Mountain Film Festival now. We'll be at um, Sheffield Doc Fest in June. Um, probably a few other festivals this summer and the fall. And then my main role moving forward will be coordinating our outreach. And so I'll be working with a number of organizations, both um, climate grassroots organizations like the ones I'm really familiar with, to like the Energy and Climate Intelligence Unit in the UK that's pumped to show our film in London, Brussels, and Berlin. Um, so I'll be working with all of those groups and security think tanks to really make sure this film gets out there, both to the public and also to policymakers around the world. Um, what is the next project for PF? Next project. Next project for PF, pic um, PF Pictures, Pictures films, sorry. doesn't matter. Um, so we are all also doing films, a film called Disobedience, um, which is about civil disobedience around climate change. That just came out, but they might make it into a series. Oh, yeah. So that might be the next thing for, for PF Pictures. Um, I know uh, our director is interested in maybe doing another film on the winners and losers of climate change. Mm -hmm. And so thinking like, there are actually going to be some businesses that really thrive because of climate change. Yeah. And so like, like people who are selling water or um, the antidotes to viruses, you know, they're actually going to do well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think he's interested in, in looking at that. Um, I 
I may still stay at PF Pictures, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But my next project is going to be the intersection of climate justice or climate change and racial justice within the US. Yeah. So looking at communities of color that are on the front lines of climate change, but are also on the front lines of the solutions and coming up with, you know, solar cooperatives and things like that that will really lead the way to a just transition to the future. That'll be so interesting.